Sophia? How are you today? Good. Why are you here? It's because I want to talk about my business and show you what my business does. That's good. Show me. So, do hello. My name is Sophia. My product is Deckless by Sophia. And this is how you use my product. And we asked them to put it in detail cut logos and rounded cut logos. And the reason why it says your logo here is because we can print on your logo. And we asked for block letter logos. And we can make it go into light to dark. Or we can do it the other way around. Thank you. And in August, I found suppliers. And in October, we sold more than 20 at time, more than 700. And in November, we found advisors and distributors. And it's $4 for you to buy it. And in December, we were doing crowdfunding and practicing for Dragon Dan, and that's the same we're doing now in January. And you might be thinking, why do you have this product? There's already a whole bunch of other things that can hold your phone. Well, the reason is, is because mounts, they stick out in your face like aliens. And they're ugly. And... The regular Velcro is ugly, it blends in with the background, and it's really prickly. And if there's any questions, I'm up to answering them. Thank you very much. How old are you, Sophia? I am seven years old. Oh, what grade are you in? I'm in grade two. What school do you go to? Victoria School. Okay, what is your background? My background is cookie and coffee. The reason why I stopped the cookie is because the cookie business tied up my legs. It's because I would have to walk around one floor of my dad's work. And it used up my playtime is because it takes a long time to make cookies. Because you have to do all this stuff to bake them. And the reason why I stopped the coffee business is because you would have to get into my dad's car, drive to my dad's work, get the money, go back downstairs, and get in the car, and go back home, and do whatever you did. It was too simple, way too simple. And then I saw my dad in Not Pretty and Really Prickly Walker, and I asked my dad, why is Not Pretty, why is it really prickly, and my dad said, well, we can make that way. Good. So, in these difficult times, you managed to come up with such a fantastic idea. How did you come up with this idea, Sophia? Like I said, I saw my dad on Not Pretty, a really prickly walker, and I asked my dad, why is Not Pretty? Why is it really prickly? My dad said, well, we can make that way. And now we asked the people that were going to be our manufacturers to make it. So, what problem are you solving with your product? People don't know where to put their phones. Or... But you might be thinking there's already a whole bunch of other things in the world that can hold your phone. Well, the mouse will stick out in your face like aliens. And it's ugly. And the regular Velcro, it's prickly, it blends in with the background. And it's ugly because it's just plain old black. Who are your customers? Clothing company, they use it for their clothing. And construction company, they use it for putting their hat mitts on their hat, and they use it for their instruments, and tell us they use it because they have phones, and the daycare company, they used it is because for the kids to play with, and the car company, they used it. It's because mounts are expensive than my product, so they want my product. Good. How many have you sold so far? More than 700. Oh, that is really fantastic. And Good two job. are coming back for more. Oh, I like that story. So, what would you do with the money? I will improve my packaging and improve my website and let them fits can sell easier. Lee, which is my one of my distributors.
And then I can give it to the Salvation Army. The reason why I want to give it to them is because they help the community and and they and they um, help businesses. Oh, you are so nice. That's really nice. So people watching this video, when they want to buy your products, where can they find your products? On Booster, you have to buy five or under. And on my website, decosbysophia.com. Dot com. Thank you. You have to buy five, a hundred or more. A hundred to a thousand. Yeah. What do you tell uh, young girls like you at six to seven years old about doing business? What would you say to your friends who want to start a business like you? Maybe you could try having a business one day. <laughs> Just like when I did a little demonstration to my class. Okay. And everyone was interested into it, and everyone crowded around me for my business card. Amen. Thank you very much. Have a good day and good luck in your endeavor, Sophia. Take care. Yes. Thank you. Bye. So, Sophia's dad is just around. Maybe you want to say what? Uh, yeah, so I'll reinforce the uh, decalsbysophia.com, and we target the promotional product industry. So, she will customize the shape and the print for it. Um, and you wonder why I'm here, and for the most part, other than to encourage her to keep going, I'm also a good chauffeur. Uh, she usually runs most of her meetings by herself. And she is also a great example of, when you get into the statement of, is entrepreneurship nature versus nurture? He, you can just teach how to run a business. Because as she has demonstrated, she started off simple, with something she understood, like cooking, has went on to coffee with some prompting, uh, whether it's every time you saw someone with one of your cookies, what else are they doing? And she identified coffee, and so she started selling coffee as well. And when she started going to school, she goes to an art school, so she wanted to change her business to start doing something that was with art. And I, was, I started prompting her saying, if you want to do something with art, then identify something that's ugly and make it pretty.